hello and uh, welcome back to my channel the comfy crafter um we are doing day 25 of the crochet society advent calendar for 2022 um i've moved locations just uh just because i want to go through the once i've opened box 25 i'm going to go through what gifts we've got and actually what progress i've made on it um so we can see from my turned around boxes that I have got up to day 11 in terms of actually making the squares. Um, and actually I'm nearly finished day 12. But, uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and open day 25. So day 25 is back to the first colour that we got, icing sugar. Um, I'm guessing, well I know from the pattern that... Um, day 25's pattern is is the putting together so i'm guessing that this color will be part of the border um for our blanket um and the gift that we have got is a leather tag so let's just have a oh, i haven't opened this up so bear with me um oh okay all right, so it's um, three leather tags uh, that just say um, BC on for Bella Coco. So I guess uh, when we've finished it, if we want to give it a little bit of a professional touch, um, we can put a leather tag on it to make it look um, nice. <laughs> so, right, let's put that back in the drawer and move the rubbish out of the way. a little bit of uh, reorganisation which I should have thought about beforehand but never mind <laughs> we're nothing if not professional here okay so first of all where am I at with this so these are my squares um, this is day 12 um, and I am on row one, two, three, four, five. So I've just finished, no, I'm just about to finish row five on there. So I've got three rows, three and a bit rows left to do on day 12. And then we have got um, our other squares, which I have, um, what's the right word? Blocked these. So for the most part, they're all very similar colors. Now that is day one. I'm still deciding on whether I'm going to uh, redo day one. I think I might do because um, day 10, I think that one was, turned out much better. So uh, same pattern. That one hasn't been blocked, so it is a bit smaller. But those two are a pattern that pull in a bit anyway. And then, uh, yeah, so I've mainly done the pinks, but I've got a couple of the blues in there as well. And um, yeah, those are coming together really nicely. So say I am only up to day 12, so it's going to take me a little while to do, but I have thoroughly enjoyed the process. And this sort of tapestry style, um, I'd never done before. So I'm really pleased with how these are, are turning out. Um, the, the main stitch that's used is just a treble crochet. So that's something I was familiar with, um, but the swapping colours was new to me so really pleased with that so I'll actually just move those out of the way and then we'll have a bit of a, a talk about what we got in this in this advent calendar so we'll start off with the sort of basic things that sort of worked for me but weren't necessarily I don't know that so we got a notebook and three pencils to go with it um these i quite liked um i like a good notebook it's a little one so it can just be stuck in your project bag the pencils are small enough to go in your um well i have like a little it's not a pencil case but it's essentially a pencil case that i keep all my crochet hooks and stuff in so that for me works really well really pleased with those um the box of wooden beads 
Um, I don't think I can get into them right now, but the should get into them. These were for a mini make, and I think that there was a second mini make that used them as well that I haven't done yet. But these are really nice um, wooden beads that can go on so many different projects. So again, uh, you got a good, no a substantial number of those. So. I can definitely see myself using them throughout other projects if I don't get around to making the garland, which was what they were for in the projects. Um, so yeah, and that's something that I haven't looked at how much it would cost to just purchase them, but I feel like it's probably within the sort of price bracket that makes this a good value for money calendar. So to just to stop a second on that, the calendar for the early bird was £69 and um, so all the draws worked out at about £2.60 so we got a 33 gram ball of yarn in each one and then a gift so I think so far we're working out value for me the pencils maybe not but then we make up for it and other things so then we've got the little fold up scissors Um now these I love these. I've got three pairs of these. These are brilliant. They go in your bag. They they safely go in a bag. Um, so yeah, they work for me. And I like the fact that they're gold. I've got a pink pair, a blue pair, and now a gold pair. Love them. Um, the hooks. Just working my way through my pile here. So we got three hooks on three separate... Um, for three separate days. So we got the four millimeter in their sort of sparkly style we got a 3.5 millimeter in their sparkly style and then we got a matte five millimeter with like a snowflakey design on it really comfortable hooks um absolutely spot on i've got a lot of bella Co coco crochet society hooks now and they are fabulous love them i find they sort of my grip sort of moulds them, so I find them really comfortable. I know some people don't, but I do. Um, stitch markers. We got uh, four, what I would describe as oversized stitch markers. Um, now, I would say that I'm not a huge fan of oversized stitch markers, but I have used these two whilst doing the project. Um, and they they're very comfortable because they're flexible they didn't get in my way as much as i expected them to so yeah they're really sweet they're really nice designs like them there was some discussion over whether that was a skunk or a fox it is definitely a fox it's an arctic fox and it's quite cute um and then now this has got my other stitch markers on it already but we got a stitch marker um holder so a little heart i will be trying to find a way to display that actually because i think um, as it builds up my stitch market collection it's going to look really cool um, so that was uh, one of the day's gifts um, tape measure again can't go wrong with a tape measure uh, it's it's got a locking mechanism which it's not going to let me display it's got a locking mechanism so it can be pulled out to the right size and a release button it's tape measure it works. Uh, I have found it useful when I've been blocking my squares. So I like that. I like a useful gift. Um, we're running out of the useful gifts. No, we're not. These, absolutely love. Uh, yarn tidies. So these go around your ball of wool. So for instance, on this one, it would go around my ball of wool to keep it in place when I'm not using it. So I'm going to stick the other one on here. What I also like about these is they've got a little stitch marker with them, so you never you never lose your stitch marker. So like them, they're good. Um, equally, the sewing up stuff. I'll open this up. Ooh, sorry about the wobble there. Some glittery string <laughs> glittery thread rather and there are a couple of ne uh, sewing needles in there i'm not going to get them out but sewing up stuff that i quite like because the amount of times that i sort of lose bits um that will go with me in my project bag everywhere i'll be honest 
Um, and then the, just trying to work out which is still crochet gifts. Uh, this is a tassel maker. You can't really see it very well uh, because it's sparkly, but it's got three sizes of tassels to make. Um, and yeah, can't really say anything more about that. That is a tassel maker. Uh, it was used in one of the mini makes that I haven't done yet. Um, it's just what it says on the tin. <laughs> this one I had to Google because I didn't know what it was. Uh, it's a pom-pom maker. I will admit I have not yet used this, but uh, and I will have to follow some instructions when I do. Um, but yeah, pom-pom maker, again for a mini make. So those two, whilst they're probably not ones that I'll use very often, they were useful in the grand scheme of things on this box. So that is good. Um, we've got the, la the um, leather tags that I've just received in day 25. Will I use them? Probably on this blanket, probably never again. But uh, they're nice. They uh, are described as leather. So I assume real leather, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, it might say on the box, but I've put the box back in the, in the drawer, so I'm not going to check. I will check. I haven't put the box back in the drawer. I've put the box up here. Um, doesn't say whether it's real leather or not. Just says leather tag. Doesn't say anything on the back. So, not sure on that one. And then we got a cute little pin badge. I do like a pin badge. This does live on my um, crochet um bag uh little pencil case thing um i will admit that i spent ages trying to count up my gifts because i was like i don't understand why i've only got 24 i should have 25 it was because this was on um already in situ and i completely forgot about it but i quite like that had an old pin good quality gift binding clips useful Will I use them very often? No. Is it useful to have them in my bag? Absolutely. Uh, because they are they are going to come in handy when it comes to sewing up this blanket. So, useful. Good. Like it. The next are three that I'm... Um, no, I'll do the two that I don't like first. These are two that I do not like, I'll be honest. We got two cookie cutters. We got a Christmas tree and a uh, snowflake they're cookie cutters in a crochet advent calendar that's all i'm going to say about them actually no i will i will say one more thing about them <laughs> they're really useful if you if you have children if you like making cookies i mean even if you're adult and you like making cookies great useful they're not for me i don't really do um, shaped cookies um and i just but in a £70 advent calendar where we've got all of these gifts and 25 balls of wool, I am not going to complain about these cookie cutters because if they're the only gifts that I truly don't like in the entire box, then that's saying something about the quality of the box. And then finally, we have three Christmas decorations. Now, initially, I was a bit negative about these when, uh, when, when I first saw them because I was like, hmm, Christmas decorations, hmm, not sure. They're really nice. They're like straightforward. They're basic. They're wooden um, Christmas decorations. You could probably do something to them. You could tart them up a bit. Um, yeah. Again, in, in this particular box, with the quality of the goods that we got in every other drawer, um, I'm not going to complain about these. And they are the colours of the blanket as well, which is really nice. I'm trying to get, there's a cat trying to join me in this uh, video. So they're the colours of the blanket, they're the colours of Bella Coco. So um, I'm not, I'm not complaining. They're really nice. But that is all that we've got physically in the boxes. As I say, we've got 25 balls of yarn. We got all of these gifts. But what we also got, let's not forget, oh, for God's sake, sorry, get down. Um, Is we got the patterns for every day so i've printed them off we've got a pdf every day of the the pattern um including the mini makes i'm going to go through them all and including the pattern for um 
making it up so um so doing the border and that's uh actually i was just gonna zoom in that's what it should look like in the end um as i say i've got 12 of the, the days done already um but we got a pattern every single day in december and we got something to do every single day in December. And I absolutely loved that. That was brilliant. I mean, I haven't actually achieved doing it every day in December. But um, what I have achieved so far, I'm really pleased with. And I'm going to continue on and finish the blanket. Because it's going to look absolutely amazing when it's done. Um, and I think that overall, this advent calendar has been really enjoyable to open and see what's in it. Um, but also enjoyable to actually have something tangible at the end of it that you are making that you are that you are doing and, and at the end of it you can say i've made that blanket so thank you for joining me if you've enjoyed this um unboxing of the advent calendar um please hit that like button please subscribe if you haven't already and um yeah uh see me in the new year for some new projects goodbye